Inspired by a troubling tragedy, the death of George Floyd at the hands of law enforcement. Around that same time, Eric's mom, Linda, was noticing something else happening. More and more people of color with disability were being beaten or even killed for failing to follow an officer's commands. I'm going to have to have a conversation with my son. A tough conversation about what to do if he and his friends ever found themselves in a tense situation with police. From that day on, it was Eric's calling to create a symbol, a way for us to see the invisible. If we were to go into the library and you get your library card and you were to get Eric's logo put on that library card, they would already know this person has autism or this person has mental health of this person is hearing impaired and would need assistance. While some states already have something like this in place, Maryland does not, something they desperately wanted to change. And apparently a handful of state and local leaders believe in that change too, many in support of Eric's ID law. It's real, it's really shocking. And I would never thought to get a bill written after my name is because of my friends I'm doing this 